before we begin, you better get yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. If it's in the nighttime, get yourself a little glass of wine. And this is going to be a long one, so enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to be putting a little video in, but I want to tell you there's going to be like a little smudge on on a section of the camera. It doesn't interfere with what you're seeing, but I was outside and I got a raindrop. And I will show you the sky, how dark it is. It didn't rain. I was watching Rusty, uh, the Ozark Duke, and man, he got a lot of rain. His rain, he must have got the rain that, um, that our northern part of our state got, because we mm. didn't get it. We just got the real dark black clouds and a few sprinkles, thank goodness, because I don't need my chickens wet or me wet. Okay, I'm going to talk about power of suggestion, the raindrop on my camera lens. I, I'm going to tell, tell you what, would, what did my day look like. This is my day. Um, the power of suggestion is when um, people say something to you and all of a sudden you're thinking, gosh, Maybe I do. Hmm. And it's all in your head and it's not really there. Um, it, I'll go back to that after I tell you what my day looked like. The camera has the little raindrop and it has a foggy spot. And I homeschooled my grandchildren today. I went over there. I went First I went to the beauty shop to see how Jessica was doing. And she was doing much better today. The, yesterday was extremely busy. Today, it was quieter, it was better. She's got appointments scheduled all the way up to a certain point. And then her daughter also has a dentist appointment next week, I think Wednesday, I think, or whatever day, I don't know. But I asked if I could take her and she said no. This one, because it's her first one and they're gonna do some major work on her mouth, has to be a parent that goes with her so I won't be able to take her. But I will be taking the other two children. And I said, make sure you, they bring their homework. Now, I was working with Kyle especially because his teacher had called and said that he was falling behind on his work. And so I said, I'm here because your teacher called. And they took it that the teacher called me. The teacher called you? And I go, and of course I said yes. <laughs> I said a little white lie, but it was it was for a good reason. And they said, oh, I thought my mom told you. And I said, mm, or called you. And I said, no, your mom didn't call me, which she didn't. But anyways, the teacher said that he was quite a ways behind on his math. And he's a whiz kid with the math. So I don't understand why he wasn't doing his work. When I got there, he was jumping on the trampoline. And I said, okay, Kyle, I'm here to do school. So let's get in the house and go do school. And this was like nine a little after 9 this morning, probably 9.30 at the early, at the latest. And I didn't leave there until 1.30. I gave them their, their lunch. They had tacos for lunch. And they wanted them put into the toaster oven so that they could get the, the shell that they had, the soft shell. When, um, Paige wanted it cr um, crunchy, so I put hers in and then I did Kyle's. And I said to them, no, you have to clean up your dishes after when you're done. I want you to take your dish off the table and rinse it and put it in the dishwasher. Now, they don't have to rinse theirs because they've got a newer dishwasher. But I always rinsed, actually washed my dishes and then ran them through the dishwasher. So mine were actually double washed. But theirs is a newer dishwasher, so they can just take it and put the dish in. But I tell them to rinse it first and then put it in. And I was going to take um, Paige's stuff and put it in and Kyle I asked him if he was done and he said no he wasn't and I said well then you make sure you put it in the dishwasher so Paige did her dish uh, other dishes she put them there because earlier there was dishes on the table and I says oh no you kids can't do this your mom's not your maid and neither am I and then Kyle was working on back to the schoolwork. he was working on his computer for a lot of it and then he had to do he has a few printout papers that he had to do, and I told him I wanted him to do the rest of page four, then I wanted him to do page five and page six. Well, he did page four, finished page four, and started page five, and he says, I need to sharpen my pencil. I said, I have another pencil right here. 
So I gave him the pencil and he drops it on the floor. I says, why'd you drop it on the floor? You don't do that. I'm not your maid, I told you. And so we picked up the pencil and um, I had like extra ones in case he needed to sharpen again because then he started combing his hair and combing his hair and combing his hair. And I says, you know, your hair looks lovely. He's only second grade, I think. Mm -hmm. But he was trying to find anything and everything he could do just not to do his schoolwork. Well, he got pretty much caught up. Then he wanted to show me where the teacher said I only have to do one of whatever it was I was making him do on the computer. And I said, I don't care what your teacher said. I say you're going to do another one because you're too far behind and you've got a lot of catching up to do. So you just do another one. And he really tried to talk me out of um, doing that one. I said, look, I can't go home until you finish it. And he really wanted me to go home. <laughs> so he finished it. Okay, that was um, the day with the kids. And so I didn't get to watch too many videos. I did watch some. But I was there from 9.30 to 1.30. So I really... I was um, busy with the children. So that's what the summers are going to be like, I think. Busy with the kids. I went to the bank and I still have to give my deposit through the door. And I asked her what phase do they open the bank up and she said there is no phase for the bank. They can open up whenever they want to. It's just that they've decided that they don't want to open up yet. So I said okay. So I just gave her my um, thing through the letter hole and she took it and I said I'd like a receipt and so she had to bring me back my receipt. And then I paid the ta village taxes. Now, the other two houses have a village tax. And so I had to drop that in their letter box also because their office isn't opened yet. And I checked the box because I'd like a receipt back from that. So they'll have to mail me another receipt. This All this mailing stuff back is costing the, the places a lot more money because typically you would go down, pay it, they would cut it off, give you a copy or give you the copy give your receipt right then and there and you didn't have to mail anything I'm going to show you oh and then I sat with the chickens I always sit with the chickens I do that when they're eating especially and today I had to the little black one was getting the little tiny black one from Emma was trying to eat the chicken scratch and everybody was tapping it on its head like move away move away move away so I picked the little guy I think it's a guy I don't know maybe it's a girl I hope it's a girl mm -hmm. anyways I picked the little chick up and I moved it over by its mama with um, the chicken scratch so it continued to eat there and then the other the what I call the teenagers those are Dorothy's little ones they came over and they were trying to eat up the food as fast as they could and I was able to to um, pet some of them and I have a feeling that these uh, roosters that are in that batch I have a feeling they're all going to be bantams and I said to Jim I really want to keep them they're so darn cute they haven't gotten very big and I have a few of them that have the green legs so that means that they are they've got some Americana in them but if they don't grow very big they'll be cute little roosters and so maybe Andy will be replaced I don't know poor Andy but I, I, I'm thinking I'd like to keep a few of those roosters. You don't really need many roosters. And only need one. You don't need any, actually. And the chickens will lay eggs without a rooster. But if you want to have chicks, like my, my hens like to go broody, so they need a, a rooster around to fertilize those eggs. I'm going to show you the bluebird box and you're going to see the eggs and then you're going to see a little bluebird with its mouth wide open. I couldn't tell how many are in there because they were all sleeping, but there was six eggs so there's got to be six bluebirds. Andy crowed today. I caught it on, and he's crowed before but I could never catch him. So you're going to hear this, it sounds like a, a very bad kazoo, or, or, like a bad kazoo tune. He really doesn't have a good crow. When Pretty Boy crowed the first time, Pretty Bo Boy did a true crow, and it's a real pretty crow. Okay, now back to um, the power of suggestion. I wanted to talk a little more on that. And what I was going to say is, like, when you, like, people will say, gosh, you look sick today. And you begin to, through the course of the day, and you, more people will say, you don't look like you feel too good. You're looking kind of ill. And first thing you know, that person is thinking, I am a little ill, maybe, and then they go home, or they they really don't feel good. They begin to actually feel what everybody has been suggesting. Or they might say, you look awfully tired. Are you tired? 
You look tired. Did you get to sleep last night? You look awful tired. And so then after a while, they're beginning to feel tired. And hungry. You must be hungry. You haven't eaten all day. Oh my goodness, you must be starved. You better eat something. That's me sometimes. <laughs> no, I don't think he's starved. But I do say, maybe you better eat something. It's been a while since you've eaten, so maybe you better have something. And so then I'll cook something up. Like TV commercials are good for that. Yeah. They're they, real good for oh, triggering your... They they trigger... They, they'll mention um, chocolate, and I get myself a piece of my chocolate. <laughs> Um, they mentioned potato chips or fries or something like that, and I think, oh, maybe I'll have a little something. But I don't have much in the house, so I make chicken. Uh, others might say that you're not very smart, and you begin to feel like you're not very smart. You begin to believe what people are telling you. This is the power of suggestion. Or you've got a froggy, f a froggy, a <laughs> foggy brain. Your brain, like you can't think, must be your ear um, that old age and some people will say you look awfully nervous or worried about something and first thing you know you're you're thinking gosh maybe I am worried about something what am I worried about hmm maybe I should be worried if I'm not worried and then you start to worry so that's the power of suggestion so use positive words everybody should be positive you look great today and I feel great and I hope you're feeling great and that's going to be the end of my video. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to... Oh, shucks a -roo. I better put that... I'm supposed to put that video in. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's put the video in right here. Very dark clothes. We're going to get rain. Look at those storm clouds. Very dark clouds all around. <laughs> I would check. Oh, she came out. Anybody else in there? Let me check the babies. What's happening? She's not dive bombing me yet. Still eggs. We're gonna check the bluebird box. Let's see if anybody's home. Nobody's home. We're gonna see what we can see. There's babies. Oh, looky there. These are the rhododendrons. Look how beautiful they are when they get all opened up. I did take a video a few days ago. I will probably put that one in there too so you can see. This is the brighter and this is in bloom. They're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous start like start like this then they go to this then they go to this and then to this absolutely beautiful Yep, that's the, that's the loaded denim. Well, we're gonna go in now. Um, Jake was just probably sitting by the door waiting for me. I am sure that's for here. We'll open the door and see. Hello, Jake. You're always there waiting so faithfully for me. I'm back. I forgot. I skipped right over it. Mm -hmm. You talked about it. Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that little video. I showed you the... Did you see hear Andy Crow? He went... Ur, ur. <laughs> and I showed you my rhododendrons and the bluebirds and the bird nest and the eggs. And I think that's everything I showed you. And I, Oh, I showed you the dark clouds. We had some really dark clouds. Well, I hope you all 
had a great day. I had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So we'll see you. Bye-bye.